Spring by Michael Fairless Read for LibriVox.org by CalmDragon.net Hark how the merry daffodils Fling golden music to the hills, And how the hills send echoing down Through wind-swept turf and moorland brown The murmurs of a thousand rills That mock the sound-bird's liquid trills. The hedge released from winter's frown Shews jeweled branch and willow crowned, While all the earth with pleasure trills And dances with the daffodils. Out! Out, ye flowers, up and shout. Stay at winter's past and springs about To lead your ranks in joyous rout. To string the hawthorn's milky pearls And gild the grass with celadine. To dress the catkin's tasseled curls To twist the tendrils of the vine. She wakes the windflower from her sleep And lights the woods with April's moon. The violets lift their heads to peep. The daisies brave the sun at noon. The gentle wind from out the west Toys with the lilac pretty maids, Ruffles the meadow's verdant vest, And rings the bluebells in the glades. The ash buds change their somber suit, The orchids blossom red and white, Promise of autumn's riper fruit. When spring's voluptuousness has fled, Awake, awake, O oh, throstle sweet, and haste with all your choir to greet This queen who comes with wakening feet. Paris phone with grateful eyes salutes the sun, tis paradise, Then hastens down the dewy meads, past where the herd contented feeds, Past where the furrows hide the grain for harvesting of sun and rain, To where Dementor patient stands with longing lips and outstretched hands, until the dawning of one face across the void of time and space shall bring again her day of grace rejoice o earth rejoice and sing this is the promise of the spring and this the world's remembering end of poem this recording is in the public domain Spring by Michael Fairless. Read for LibriVox.org by Corrie Samuel. Hark how the merry daffodils fling golden music to the hills, and how the hills send echoing down through wind swept turf and moorland brown the murmurs of a thousand rills that mock the song birds' liquid trills. The hedge released from winter's frown shows jewelled branch and willow crown while all the earth with pleasure trills, and dances with the daffodils. Out, out, ye flowers, up and shout, stay at winter's past and spring's about, to lead your ranks in joyous rout, to string the hawthorn's milky pearls, and gild the grass with celandine, to dress the catkin's tasseled curls, to twist the tendrils of the vine. She wakes the windflower from her sleep, and lights the woods with April's moon. The violets lift their heads to peep, the daisies brave the sun at noon. The gentle wind from out the west toys with the lilac pretty maids, ruffles the meadow's verdant vest, and rings the bluebells in the glades. The ash buds change their sombre suit, the orchards blossom white and red, promise of autumn's riper fruit, when spring's voluptuousness has fled. Awake, awake, O throstle sweet, And haste with all your choir to greet This queen who comes with awakening feet. Persephone, with grateful eyes, Salutes the sun, tis paradise, Then hastens down the dewy meads, Past where the herd contented feeds, Past where the furrows hide the grain For harvesting of sun and rain, To where Demeter patient stands, with longing lips and outstretched hands, Until the dawning of one face, Across the void of time and space, Shall bring again her day of grace. Rejoice, O earth, rejoice and sing, This is the promise of the spring, And this the world's remembering. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.
Spring by Michael Fairless Read for LibriVox.org by Algy Pug Perth, Western Australia Hark how the merry daffodils Fling golden music to the hills And how the hills send echoing down Through windswept turf and moorland brown The murmurs of a thousand rills That mock the songbird's liquid trills the hedge released from winter's frown shows jewelled branch and willowed crown while all the earth with pleasure trills and dances with the daffodils out out ye flowers up and shout stayed winter's past and springs about to lead your ranks in joyous rout to string the hawthorn's milky pearls and gild the grass with celandine to dress the catkin's tasselled curls to twist the tendrils of the vine she wakes the wind-flower from her sleep, And lights the woods with April's moon. The violets lift their heads to peep, The daisies brave the sun at noon. The gentle wind from out the west Toys with the lilac pretty maids, Ruffles the meadow's verdant vest, And rings the bluebells in the glades. The ash-buds change their sombre suit, The orchards blossom white and red, Promise of autumn's riper fruit when spring's voluptuousness has fled. Awake, awake, O throstle sweet, and haste with all your choir to greet this queen who comes with wakening feet. Persephone with grateful eyes salutes the sun. Tis paradise. Then hastens down the dewy meads, past where the herd contented feeds, past where the furrows hide the grain for harvesting of sun and rain, to where Demeter patient stands with longing lips and outstretched hands, until the dawning of one face across the void of time and space shall bring again her day of grace. Rejoice, O earth, rejoice and sing. This is the promise of the spring, and this the world's remembering. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Spring by Michael Fairless Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence Hark how the merry daffodils Fling golden music to the hills And how the hills send echoing down Through wind-swept turf and moorland brown The murmurs of a thousand rills That mock the songbird's liquid trills The hedge released from winter's frown Shews jeweled branch and willow crown while all the earth with pleasure trills and dances with the daffodils. Out, outy flowers, up and shout, stayed winter's past and springs about to lead your ranks in joyous rout, to string the hawthorn's milky pearls and gild the grass with celandine, to dress the catkin's tasselled curls, to twist the tendrils of the vine. She wakes the windflower from her sleep, and lights the woods with April's moon. The violets lift their heads to peep, the daisies brave the sun at noon. The gentle wind from out the west toys with the lilac pretty maids, ruffles the meadow's verdant vest, and rings the bluebells in the glades. The ash buds change their sombre suit, the orchards blossom white and red, promise of autumn's riper fruit. When spring's voluptuousness has fled, awake, awake, O throstle sweet, and haste with all your choir to greet this queen who comes with wakening feet. Persephone with grateful eyes salutes the sun, tis paradise, then hastens down the dewy meads, past where the herd contented feeds, past where the furrows hide the grain for harvesting of sun and rain, to where Demeter patient stands with longing lips and outstretched hands, until the dawning of one face across the void of time and space shall bring again her day of grace rejoice o earth rejoice and sing this is the promise of the spring and this the world's remembering end of poem this recording is in the public domain spring by michael fairless read for librivox dot org by gemma blythe Hark how the merry daffodils fling golden music to the hills, and how the hills send echoing down through wind-swept turf and moorland brown, the murmurs of a thousand rills that mock the songbird's liquid trills. 
the hedge released from winter's frown she was jewel branch and willow crown while all the earth with pleasure trills and dances with the daffodils out out she flowers up and shouts stayed winter's past and spring's about to lead your ranks in joyous rout to string the hawthorn's milky pearls and gild the grass with celandine to dress the catkins tasselled curls to twist the tendrils of the vine she wakes the wind-flower from her sleep and lights the woods with april's moon the violets lift their heads to peep the daisies brave the sun at noon the gentle wind from out the west toys with the lilac pretty maids ruffles the meadow's verdant vest and rings the bluebells in the glades the ash buds change their sombre suit the orchids blossom white and red promise of autumn's riper fruit when spring's voluptuousness has fled awake awake o oh, throstle sweet in haste with all the choir to greet this queen who comes with weakening feet persephone with grateful eyes salutes the sun till paradise then hastens down the dewy meads past where the herd contented feeds past where the furrows hide the grain for harvesting of sun and rain to where demeter's patient stands with longing lips and outstretched hands until the dawning of one face across the void of time and space shall bring again a day of grace rejoice o earth rejoice and sing this is the promise of the spring and this the world's remembering and poem this recording is in the public domain spring by Michael Fairless, read for LibriVox.org by Lucy Perry. Hark how the merry daffodils fling golden music to the hills, and how the hills send echoing down through wind-swept turf and moorland brown the murmurs of a thousand rills that mock the songbird's liquid trills. The hedge released from winter's frown shews jewelled branch and willow crown, while all the earth with pleasure trills and dances with the daffodils. Out, out, ye flowers, up and shout, Stayed winter's past and spring's about, To lead your ranks in joyous rout, To string the hawthorn's milky pearls, And gild the grass with celandine, To dress the catkin's tasselled curls, To twist the tendrils of the vine. She wakes the wind-flower from her sleep, And lights the woods with April's moon, The violets lift their heads to peep, The daisies brave the sun at noon. The gentle wind from out the west Toys with the lilac pretty maids, Ruffles the meadow's verdant vest, And rings the bluebells in the glades. The ash buds change their sombre suit, The orchards blossom white and red, Promise of autumn's riper fruit, When spring's voluptuousness has fled. Awake, awake, O oh throstle sweet, And haste with all your choir to greet This queen who comes with wakening feet. Persephone, with grateful eyes, salutes the sun, tis paradise, then hastens down the dewy meads, past where the herd contented feeds, past where the furrows hide the grain, for harvesting of sun and rain, to where Demeter patient stands, with longing lips and outstretched hands, until the dawning of one face, across the void of time and space, shall bring again her day of grace. Rejoice, O earth! Rejoice and sing, this is the promise of the spring, and this the world's remembering. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Spring by Michael Fairless Read for LibriVox.org by Piper Hayes March 2010 Hark how the merry daffodils fling golden music to the hills, and how the hills send echoing down through wind-swept turf and moorland brown the murmurs of a thousand rills that mock the songbird's liquid trills. The hedge released from winter's frown shows jeweled branch and willow crown, while all the earth with pleasure trills and dances with the daffodils. Out, out, ye flowers, up and shout, Stayed winter's past and spring's about, 
to lead your ranks in joyous rout, to string the hawthorn's milky pearls, and gild the grass with celandine, to dress the catkins' tasseled curls, to twist the tendrils of the vine. She wakes the windflower from her sleep, and lights the wood with April's moon. The violets lift their heads to peep, the daisies brave the sun at noon. The gentle wind from out the west toys with the lilac pretty maids, ruffles the meadow's verdant vest, and rings the bluebells in the glades. The ash buds change their somber suit, the orchards blossom white and red, promise of autumn's riper fruit, when spring's voluptuousness has fled. Awake, awake, O throstle sweet, and haste with all your choir to greet this queen, who comes with wakening feet, then hastens down the dewy meads, past where the herd contented feeds, past where the furrows hide the grain, for harvesting of sun and rain, to where Demeter patient stands, with longing lips and outstretched hands, until the dawning of one face across the void of time and space shall bring again her day of grace. Rejoice, O earth, rejoice and sing. This is the promise of the spring, and this the world's remembering. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Spring by Michael Fairless. Read for LibriVox.org by Raven Notation. Hark how the merry daffodils fling golden music to the hills, and how the hills send echoing down through wind-swept turf and moorland brown the murmurs of a thousand rills that mock the songbird's liquid trills. The hedge released from winter's frown shews jewelled branch and willowed crown, while all the earth with pleasure trills and dances with the daffodils. Out, out, ye flowers, up and shout, Stead winter's past and spring's about, To lead your ranks in joyous rout, To string the hawthorn's milky pearls, And gild the grass with celandine, To dress the catkin's tasseled curls, To twist the tendrils of the vine. She wakes the windflower from her sleep, and lights the woods with April's moon. The violets lift their heads to peep, The daisies brave the sun at noon. The gentle wind from out the west Toys with the lilac pretty maids, Ruffles the meadows verdant vest, And rings the bluebells in the glades. The ash buds change their sombre suit, The orchards blossom white and red, Promise of autumn's riper fruit, when spring's voluptuousness has fled. Awake, awake, O throstle sweet, and haste with all your choir to greet this queen who comes with wakening feet. Persephone, with grateful eyes, salutes the sun, tis paradise, then hastens down the dewy meads, past where the herd contented feeds past where the furrows hide the grain for harvesting of sun and rain to where demeter patient stands with longing lips and outstretched hands until the dawning of one face across the void of time and space shall bring again her day of grace rejoice o earth rejoice and sing this is the promise of the spring, and this the world's remembering. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Spring by Michael Fairless. Read for LibriVox.org by Tricia G. Hark how the merry daffodils fling golden music to the hills, and how the hills send echoing down through wind-swept turf and moorland brown the murmurs of a thousand rills that mock the songbird's liquid trills the hedge released from winter's frown shows jewelled branch and willow crown 
while all the earth with pleasure trills and dances with the daffodils out out ye flowers up and shout staid winters past and springs about to lead your ranks in joyous rout to string the hawthorn's milky pearls and gild the grass with celandine to dress the catkin's tasseled curls to twist the tendrils of the vine she wakes the wind-flower from her sleep and lights the woods with april's moon the violets lift their heads to peep the daisies brave the sun at noon the gentle wind from out the west toys with the lilac pretty maids ruffles the meadow's verdant vest and rings the bluebells in the glades the ash buds change their sombre suit the orchards blossom white and red promise of autumn's riper fruit when spring's voluptuousness has fled awake awake o throstle sweet and haste with all your choir to greet this queen who comes with wakening feet persephone with grateful eyes salutes the sun tis paradise then hastens down the dewy meads past where the herd contented feeds past where the furrows hide the grain for harvesting of sun and rain to where demeter patient stands with longing lips and outstretched hands until the dawning of one face across the void of time and space shall bring again her day of grace rejoice o earth rejoice and sing this is the promise of the spring and this the world's remembering end of poem this recording is in the public domain